Hello, everyone. <clears throat> I just wanted to give a quick update on my 6502 project. <clears throat> so for the project, I need a way to program EEPROMs uh, for both memory and also for creating some hexadecimal displays for my uh, 6502. So I created this EEPROM programmer out of an Arduino Mega 2560 and the AT28C64 series of EEPROMs by Atmel. Uh, the circuit here is pretty simple. It's just tying in the address lines, data lines, and some control signals. So chip select, output enable, and uh, read write. <coughs> um, for programming, the chip. I have an Arduino sketch running on it, um, and the Arduino sketch receives commands from the serial terminal. So the first command <clears throat> would be writing data out to the EEPROM, and we signify that with a W, and then I give it an address, so 0000. zero, zero, zero. It's going to be address location 0. Um, the address is always given in hexadecimal. Uh, just to make reading the commands a little bit simpler. And then I'm going to just write EA <coughs> out to that address location. So the write command is set up with the address you want to write to, uh, the address that you want to write to, fo followed by the data bus, and the W just signifies that it's going to be a write command. So now that has written out, and I can read that location back by typing an R and then the location in memory. You see that's zero and then two, three, four. Uh, so address location zero is storing data two, three, four. And if I, um, two, three, four is just the EA that I wrote out there. Um, now, writing all this by hand is a little bit cumbersome, uh, especially when it gets into programming uh, <clears throat> or writing assembly programs out to the 6502. So I wrote a pretty basic uh, Python script that just takes in a binary file, so that would be my assembled uh, binary data, and it writes it out for me. And I'm just going to demonstrate that real quick. So I have a very basic binary file set up, and this is not in a 6502 assembly file. This is actually the decoding logic for taking in my address and data lines and decoding it into um, hexadecimal for displaying on seven segment displays. So I'm just going to write out to uh, the Arduino. So you can see I have my Python command right there. I give it the Python file I'm going to be running. I give it a binary file that I want to write out to um, my EEPROM, and I give it a starting location. Now that starting location is actually inside the 6502's map, so it's not uh, meant to be within the EEPROM's memory map, it's the 6502 memory 6502's memory map. And the reason why I do that is because that start address gets written to the reset vector. Um, if you remember from my last video, <clears throat> the reset vector sets up where the program is going to start running from in the computer. Um, basically, the Python script just takes that and it maps it to something the EEPROM can use. Uh, so E000 right now <clears throat> actually maps to location 0 address 0 on the EEPROM, and that's because this EEPROM will be starting at E000. Now if I press enter, it's going to start running the program. It should go out and find an Arduino. It did. Now it <clears throat> then it reads in the binary file, and then it writes the data out, so you can see it starts writing the reset vector, and then it sets a binary file. Now if we look at the Arduino, we can see that the RX light is lighting up, meaning that it's receiving data. This takes a little bit, so we'll let it run. Um, then we'll be able to see, once it's done writing, uh, the data come back in. 
I'm going to give it a little bit. Now it's reading the data back in from the EEPROM. 7E. If we check that, 7E is correct. 30, 30 is what we wrote out, yes. 60, and it's just going to go through. Um, so by now, we can tell that the data that we wrote out to it is good. And so, yeah, I can program me problems now.